Hey there, fellow myth enthusiasts. Welcome back to our Mythical Adventure channel. Today, we are diving into a tale that involves jealousy, transformation, and an epic journey. Get ready to explore the ancient Greek myth of the wanderings of Io. Our story begins with a beautiful mortal woman named Io. She caught the eye of none other than Zeus, the king of the gods. Now, Zeus was no stranger to extramarital affairs, and he couldn't resist Io's charms. But he had to be cautious. His wife, Hera, was known for her fierce jealousy. To keep their affair a secret, Zeus transformed Io into a heifer. As a heifer, Io was forced to wander the earth, enduring a series of incredible trials brought upon her by the vengeful Hera. She was pursued by a maddening gadfly sent by the jealous queen, which tormented Io and kept her constantly on the move. Io journeyed across vast lands, crossing seas and valleys, never able to find peace. During her wanderings, Io reached the shores of the Nile River, which became a haven for her. There, Zeus restored her human form, and Io gave birth to a son named Epaphus. But the respite was brief. Io's journey continued. Eventually, Io arrived in a faraway land known as Prometheus's Mountain. There, Prometheus, a titan and friend of humanity, offered her comfort and protection. During her stay, Io discovered that her son would have a great destiny. Apaphis would become the founder of a mighty kingdom, Egypt. As time passed, Io's wanderings led her to the Bosphorus, the strait that connects the Black Sea to the Mediterranean Sea. Here, she encountered the Argonauts, Jason and his crew, who generously provided her safe passage. Eventually, Io's journey brought her back to Greece, and she ended up in a land called Dodona. There, she took residence in an ancient grove, home to a magical oak tree and oracular priests who interpreted the whispers of Zeus through the rustling leaves. Finally, Io's unsettling adventures came to an end. Zeus, taking pity on her, turned her back into a mortal and reunited her with her son, Epaphis. She would go on to become a revered ancestor of the divine hero, Hercules. And so the myth of Io's wanderings comes to a close. It's a testament to the endurance and resilience of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable trials. Io's story reminds us that even in the most challenging times, there can be hope and a brighter future awaiting us. That's all for today's mythological adventure. I hope you enjoyed diving into the ancient Greek myth of the wanderings of Io. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more mythological insights and tell us in the comments which myth you'd like us to explore next. Until then, stay curious, stay inspired.